Okay, guys, the, <laughs> the, the YouTube cop bots have finally, uh, th th this is a new record, even for the YouTube Me Too snowflake uh, cop bots ha have, have finally stepped over the line. I, I loved it, you know, Book Hermit, I had a, a comment on, uh, over on Collapse Chronicles this morning from Book Hermit that for I guess for the first time the YouTube cop bots had ripped down one of Book Hermit's comments. My response to him is that those uh, I said I don't even bother leaving comments uh, on my own channels anymore because ha at least half of my comments on my own channels are ripped down uh, by YouTube. It's pointless for me to leave comments on anyone else's channel because they will be ripped down. So anyway, uh, I did this rant, you know, about how my garden is just completely failing to germinate uh, this cold, wet spring moving into uh, heat stroke in the matter, man, little, 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 the matter of a week. And... Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, I got this response from Paul Whetstone. That This was like, when was this? A couple of hours. Yeah, two hours ago. <clears throat> Thanks for the updates, Hambone. On the bright side, I thought Ben had an excellent interview and dialogue with John Michael Greer. And so, here was the response that I left to that comment. Uh, I I thought Ben had an excellent interview dialogue with John Michael Greer, and uh, if you if you did or did not watch that interview, what we titled that was John Michael Greer's quote about uh, learn out learn how to hoe and grow vegetables or die basically. So my comment on my own fucking channel was I do wish Ben had asked John to send him a photo of himself hoeing corn in the hot summer sun. Uh, Hambone, John Michael Greer, and Guy McDoot walk into a summer cornfield, each with a hoe in his hand. Which man is the last one standing by orders of magnitude? And uh, the YouTube cop bots yanked that comment down, I guess, for violating their community guidelines. All I can figure it was the uh, that the cop bots do not know what a fucking hoe is. Uh, that the word hoe has been so corrupted uh, by the English language or the uh, the assault on the King's English, as my former father-in-law would have said, uh, that what they were what they read was Hambone, John Michael Greer, and Guy McDoot walk into a summer cornfield, each with a whore in his hand. Which man is the last one standing by orders of magnitude? So uh, that got ripped down. So what I've done now is I've put the comment back up. And I've also put the comment, I do wish Ben had asked John to send him a photo of himself out hoeing corn in the hot summer sun. Hambone, John Michael Greer, and Guy McDoot walk into a summer cornfield to chop weeds, which man is the last one standing by orders of magnitude. So uh, I honestly don't know what to say. I, I guess, what is your prediction? Are, are they going to keep up both of the comments? Are they going to rip down both of the comments because I have the verb hoeing? Or are they going to leave the original comment that they pulled down standing the second time around? I honestly don't know. Unfucking believable. These motherfucking 
YouTube cop bots, uh, <laughs> each with a hoe in his hand. Yes. Okay, what else is going on? Uh, what else? Are some, I'm just going through my mailbag recovering from, uh, from heat stroke. Uh, wanted to, uh, <laughs> look at this comment, uh, from my friend River Hermit, uh, down there in Cincinnati. And she was commenting on my, uh, video about the, this goddamn gravel pit from hell right down the street from me that supplies the fracking industry in Pennsylvania. We're in New York, but uh, there, there's no law in New York against pretty much mountaintop removal, you know, to obliterate uh, how many acres of uh, beautiful uh, upstate New York countryside to turn it into a gravel pit to uh, to supply the frackers down in Pennsylvania, so I put uh, I put that video up in uh, River Hermit's reply to my video, and and, and this is from the heart. Uh, isn't this just a gravel pit? Um, aggregate plant? Yes. My response, which unbelievably YouTube did not pull down my response to River Hermit, just a gravel pit, a doomer chick asking the question, isn't this just a gravel pit? And we wonder why we are so fucked. I guess when the entire fucking planet is just a gravel pit, the space aliens arriving here will say, oh, this is just a gravel pit. Nothing to see here. Yes. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Andy the guard is showing up. Andy, we do have to have a... Uh, we, we do have to have a, an, our interview soon. So commenting on my little video snippet uh, from Hunter Thompson uh, talking about how he might as well kill himself because the real Hunter Thompson has been so buried by this fictional character uh, created uh, around him uh, that the real Hunter Thompson no longer existed. Uh, I, I think Andy the Gardener should, should know as well as Hambone Littletail or Hunter Thompson exactly what Hunter was ta talking about. <clears throat> Andy the Gardener. I hate self-pity and self-loathing, so my conclusion is very different, you know, very different than Hunter Thompson's. Everyone else is in the way, and it would be much better if they died. Yes, it would be. Uh, anyway, let's see. Here is the comment from ICQME. Too hot in the sun. I do farm shit early in the morn and late, but not early calls the Skeeters get you. My response was, how do you farm shit? I, I think if, if, if I could go into shit farming, maybe I would be a success. Uh, anything else out there? Uh... All right, Jerry Alton, my only tranny. Jerry is, I think, the only tranny I have uh, anywhere in the tribe. All right. Jerry says, I have ho and will travel, if not this season, next for sure. Come see us, Jerry. We would love to have, we, we would love to have our token tranny uh, at Bugs in a Jar Farm. We are... We are all encompassing here at the uh, farm. 
Uh, anything else worth mentioning here? Uh, everyone talking about the little brown people. Uh, A long WRW does write some long comments. Uh, all these comments about uh, that poop commercial. Here is Field and Stream. Field and Stream talking about uh, my new. Uh, personals ad you're hot hambone my response to field and stream sorry I ghosted you darling obviously I had a dulcinea moment I can only handle one doomer chick firecracker at a time field and stream responded back not a problem whatsoever yes I love listening to your rants very cathartic uh, Field and Stream, if you're listening to this, do I have your permission to read your pile of fish uh, profile out uh, on the channel? Field and Stream, uh, like me, is she, she's looking for a doomer on, uh, on pile of fish. Uh, Field and Stream has perhaps the single best profile, you know, internet personals profile I have ever read in my entire life. I like to hear the female side, a doomer chick trying to find a doomer on, uh, uh, on the personal. So Field and Stream, if you are listening to this, please let me know. Can I share your spot on uh, <laughs> pile, <coughs> pile of fish? Personals. Uh, so I Annie L. Now Annie, I had. Does anybody other than Annie know what W Y S I W Y G? This is also about my personals ad. Excellent W Y S I W Y G. As they used to say back in the day, all the rest of them are lying. All the rest of them are lying. W Y I. I guess Annie's been playing the personals longer than I uh, have. Uh, Yes, uh, I will not read the comment from uh, from River Hermit about Dulcinea. My comment to her was obviously Dulcinea was too skinny to block the sun. You can uh, you can find. All right. Oh yes, I uh, I did get an offer of two thousand dollars. I have been offered two thousand dollars to buy Sancho. Didu has offered me two thousand bucks. Maybe I can come pick him up. My response to Didu in his two thousand dollar offer for Sancho Panza was, "When hell." freezes over. Uh, let's see. Good Lord, I need to s spend more time in my mailbox. Uh, I don't know. I, I think somebody that I that I banned has come back as somebody else. Uh, all right. 
Well, I guess that's it. It just keeps on going. Anywho's, I gotta get out there now that the latest brush pile is in the shade. Go start a big fire on this hot summer day. Bye, guys.